if you look at the amount of money they spend on lobbying, I mean, they have more lobbyists uh, active than there are members of Congress. Right now, pharmaceutical companies are in control. Are prescription drugs less dangerous than alcohol and cigarettes? Sometimes, but sometimes not. We've turned the corner on drug addiction in the United States. One of the most famous stars in Hollywood history is dead at 36. There's a pill problem and people just don't know about it, or they choose to ignore it maybe. And kids are dying, kids are dying every day. People were flooding into Florida, basically going on vacation just to get medications and pain clinics are, were, were, were everywhere. Pharmaceutical representatives are universally attractive. They get recruited from places like cheerleading squads at Big Ten schools. What I'm holding is a bottle of Zyprexa. Zyprexa is an antipsychotic medication. It's very popular and it's very expensive. This, among some of the others, uh, Abilify, are very, very commonly diverted. The reason being is, again, the medical programs, insurance programs pay a lot of money for these drugs. What was once a diagnostic manual that was paper thin is now a huge book with hundreds of diagnoses in it. To the point where people are being sliced and diced. And it's the lawyer's fault, okay? It's the lawyer's fault. We invented corporations. We didn't give it a conscience. We didn't give it a soul. You can't put it in jail. They went in there undercover, and how easy it is to walk into a doctor's office and say your back hurts, my neck hurts, and get a prescription for a drug that is really for people with, like, cancer. This is a criminal act on the part of a company. Their marketing is ingenious. It is so illegal, it makes the Colombian cartel uh, look like child's play. I'm in the